Hi there, my name is Tom. The reason I like to do this, I like to cook. I love to eat. But I love to play. Without a doubt, I've gotten the most compliments on this next meal. That's right, tuna stuffed peppers. This is a good time to pause your DVD player and write down the ingredients for your recipe card. As you can see, the ingredients are really not that many, but boy, what a meal this makes. And you have a lot of options depending upon your palate and your taste. The first thing I do is choose my peppers, and I fit them into the pan. So I'm going to make exactly the number of peppers that fit into the pan that you see here. We're going to be using that in the oven when it comes time. And I like to have, of course, my oil nearby. I like to have mushrooms. If you don't like them, leave them out. Onions. Choose the one you like. I happen to like Spanish. I like white. And scallions. Vidalia are good, too. Three cans of tuna, two or three cups of rice, a pint of sour cream, celery if you want it, and well, one of my favorites indeed is tomato. Okay, what you want to do is cut the heads off those peppers and simply clean out all of the seeds, put them into one container, and uh, you can cut off the tops too so we don't waste any food. If you decide that you want to grow some of those peppers, which you can do, it's really kind of fun, uh, just dry them out for a while and then plant them and see what comes up. That's what I have done, and I've actually gotten some good peppers out of it. Now take your peppers and cut them into smaller bite-sized pieces. Uh, somewhat even so that they cook evenly when we get to the stage where we're going to be cooking them. Always keep your fingers away from that sharp blade. As I said before, I'm not a chef. I'm a cook. And uh, there's a difference. I don't have all the real techniques down, but I am careful. Now, if you like celery, slice it kind of thin, small pieces. I happen to like the flavor of celery when it's cooked. If you don't care for celery, it's not going to hurt the recipe. Not one bit. The next thing, mushrooms. You can choose any kind of mushrooms. Uh, I chop them into very small pieces. I happen to like the consistency of a mushroom, but once again, if you don't like mushrooms, it's okay. It's not going to affect the overall taste of the recipe. It just adds a little bit more texture. And of course, slice up your onion and cut those onion pieces into smaller bite-sized pieces as well. See how that onion fell on the counter there? No problem. That's why I use the veggie spray. Okay, here we go. We put them all together in one little container. Next, take a pot of boiling water. Take the peppers that we have caught and taken the heads off of and put them into the boiling water. Do not overcook them. Boil them for three to four minutes at the most. That's all you have to do. You don't want to overcook the peppers. This is just to get them started. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to put some oil into the already seasoned fry pan. We're going to set the heat course on medium. See, I, I season my pans a lot. It really does help the nonstick capability. So if you haven't seasoned it, season it now. And go ahead and put some more oil into the pan. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the, uh, and by the way, this is an important part of this program. I always talk about this part of it. Uh, be careful around the heat. So what you want to do is put your peppers, your onions, the cut up mushrooms, and celery, Put a little oil on the top of that as well and set your heat at medium. That's all you have to do. Remember, you don't want to set it on high. You don't need to. Now you can add a few little spices if you want to. A little basil if you like that kind of flavoring. I put a little parsley on there. It kind of looks neat. Sometimes I add a little tiny bit of garlic salt to it as well. 
take the peppers that have been boiling for only about four minutes out and put them into that pan that we had fit them into before. Remember in the beginning we put them into the pan so they fit? That's why. You have a perfect fit and the peppers all stand up. Always be careful around hot water. Yeah, nice, colorful, laid out beautifully. Now, we have been uh, frying in oil our cut up pieces of pepper, as well as the onions, the mushrooms, and the celery. Wish we had smell of vision it smells so good here. Okay, now, into any mixing bowl, take your pint of sour cream, pour it in, and dump in the cans of tuna. Take the whole pint, put it in there, dump in the cans of tuna, and take the fried veggies, peppers and the onions, the celery and the mushrooms and put it right on top of the tuna and the sour cream. You notice there's almost nothing stuck there. In fact, there is nothing stuck there to the pan whatsoever. And stir those up good. Don't worry about the sour cream getting warm. The whole idea is to get those vegetables in there. And then pour in the rice. If you want them creamy, use two cups. If you want them a little bit thicker with ice, use three cups. What kind of rice? Well, the best is some kind of an instant rice. It's normally like a 10-minute cook. That's what I use. I don't use uh, rices that take too long to cook, like the 30-minute versions and so forth. And then mix all of that up into a nice, even batter. That's a nice consistency. If you want it a little thicker, as I sometimes do, put a little bit more rice in. By the way, the music that we've got going on here in the background is something that I do just to relax you as you're cooking. It's music that uh, comes from a variety of sources, including most of it, my own music, and uh, a few other favorites that I have permission to use. Stir it up good so that there's an even consistency you're done with that part. Now, take a spoon and scoop out the entire mix and put it right into the peppers. That's tuna, rice, sour cream, peppers, onions, celery, mushrooms. Now, it's interesting that I don't do a lot of measuring. I really don't. I just kind of fill things up and uh, I like to fill up the peppers right to the top. They are going to squall up a little bit, so I kind of flatten them out at the top. Pack them good. Perfectly fit into that pan. And if you have extra, get a small dish that you can use in the oven. Like you see here. And pack it with the filling. Maybe there's some people who would love to have the tuna mix with rice and don't like the taste of peppers. No problem is going to give that person the ability to enjoy the meal along with you. I personally love the stuffed pepper mix with everything, but there are some people that simply don't like them, or maybe they're allergic. So this gives you another alternative to use the recipe for. In fact, you can make the recipe completely without peppers if that's the kind of a person you are. The tastes are all going to blend. Make them flat. Good shape there. I love the flavor of this. I just, I just do. In fact, oh, you caught me. Sorry. You know, if you ever hear about licking the bowl? Well, that's what I do sometimes, and I can't help it. That's me. I love cooking. Gonna say, delicious. All right. The next thing you do is you slice a couple of uh, lemons just into some nice little cuts like this, and uh, do the same thing with tomato, and stick the tomato or the lemon right on the top of the peppers. Just a little added difference. Those with the lemon will acquire some of the lemon flavor. Those with the tomato is just kind of a nice garnish that I love to use. And uh, this is another idea too that actually helps the peppers taste really good is to squeeze any extra lemon over the top. Preheat your oven to 325 degrees and bake for only 50 minutes. Make sure you always use gloves that are heat resistant. 
cooking gloves, very important, and especially when you remove anything from the oven. When they're done, you will not only have some beautifully baked, oh, they are beautiful, I, I, I'm drooling here, baked tuna stuffed peppers, ready to go. Notice the two heat gloves are on, and you have those two little casserole dishes that I had with some extras there you can serve separately. And uh, they do not come out dry. I covered those. I didn't cover the peppers. You can if you want to, but they usually come out very moist regardless. And there you go. What a beautiful display and what a beautiful meal for anyone who loves anything to do with tuna, rice, and stuffed peppers. Kids love it when you put it in a small bowl, and that's right. Beautiful for a picnic. Just heat them up, take them out. They'll still be warm. Some people even eat them cold. And uh, like a tuna sandwich is called, same idea. And uh, add some potato chips and you're off and running.